Hello, my name is John Rose, and in this video, I'm going to take a closer look at why mother's milk is so high in fat. And it's only about 5% protein. I think that's interesting. And that's by calories, by weight, it's about 1.8% protein. And there's no other time in life that's, that we're going to grow more. We're going to double our weight in six to, to nine months or so. Uh, and yet, it's only 5% protein. When you look at a banana, it's only about 5% protein. And when you look at all the amino acids in a banana, it has all the amino acids we need. And then when we look at the fat, why is it so high in fat? Why is it different than the banana? There's a reason why mother's milk is different than a banana. It's because the baby is a couch potato. <laughs> the baby isn't moving. It's, it's just sleeping all day long. Mostly it's just laying there for a long time. It doesn't need any carbs. You see, at rest, about 60% of our calories are fat. So a baby doesn't have a real high need for carbs because it's not using them. And the same thing should happen to us when we do a water fast. There's a little similarity here between water fasting and babies uh, being breastfed. Because remember, 60% of our calories at rest are fat, so when we go on a water fast, the body kicks in ketosis, the brain switches over from using glucose to fat, so our fat percentage goes up even more. So interestingly, in a way, uh, a water fast is a high fat diet, just like a baby is being breastfed. And, the same, and for the same reason, when you do a water fast, you don't want to be moving around, you want to be dormant, just like a baby. And there's this crazy TV show that's on now uh, called Naked and Afraid. I've been wanting to do a show on this, a critique on this for a long time. Wasn't planning on doing it now, but I might as well bring it up because I... Uh, there's so many things to attack in this show because these people are obsessed with protein, protein, protein. Got to have their protein. They're brainwashed going into it. Oh my God, you're going to die. The body's going to break down. All these horrible things are going to happen to you if you don't get the protein, protein, protein. And they're obsessed with protein. They don't need the protein. They need the carbs. That's what they're hurting from is the carbs. And like idiots, they're out there running around trying to get some protein and they're losing their own protein in the process. If these people were smart for 21 days, they'd just go out into a water fast and do nothing. And it'd be a good experience. They'd come away healthy. So when you do a water fast, you want to be like a baby. You want to just sit there and lie down. You don't want to be walking around and using up what you don't have. That's why you lose more muscle when you do that. That's why these people are struggling on that stupid TV show. Uh, and again, I wanted to do it because they overemphasize the protein. They act like they act like the fasting's a horrible thing. It's going to, and, and, that, and I'm kind of convinced this is kind of part of di by design, to make us just to bombard our brains with bullshit, thinking fasting is bad and we need this protein. Oh my God! In one episode, it was funny. This one girl ate mostly fruit, and they go, "Oh, she didn't. She didn't lose hardly any weight, and she did surprisingly good, even though she didn't get any protein. She did better than everyone on the show." She only lost like 10 pounds at the most, I think. Uh, and I, I, Not even that, maybe. I'm not even sure. I can't remember. But anyway, it's just ridiculous. Uh, so anyway, I guess the point I'm kind of also trying to make out of this video is that when people are on these high-fat diets, you, uh, you got to act like a baby. <laughs> you, like either you got to act like you're fasting or like you're a little bitty baby and you shouldn't be moving around. You don't have the carbs to spare unless you consume other muscle. So if you don't want to use your muscle on these high-fat diets and you're going to deplete your carbohydrate fuel tank on purpose, then you better consume a whole bunch of extra protein to save your own protein, but then you're screwed for life because you're going to be damaging your body and your lymph system is going to get polluted. It's going to back up and your our so-called experts don't know this. So if you don't have knowledge of this information, you're in a lot of trouble. But if you had this knowledge, you would know that we are designed to eat a high carbohydrate diet. We're not a baby anymore. We switched from the, the mother's milk to the banana for a reason. We have a symbiotic relationship with that fruit, with all of the fruit. Interestingly, all animals put casomorphine in their milk to make sure their babies become addicted to mama. This way the babies won't stray off out there on the Serengeti. This is why dairy is such a hard addiction to break for so many people. Queso morphines. Can't break the ice cream habit, the cheese habit, the dairy habit. Drugs, drugs, drugs. You're being addicted to this 
unnatural food that we're not biologically adapted to eat to begin with. Sure, we start off with milk, but it's mother's milk, human's milk. We don't, we, could you imagine in nature what we would have done without cups and utensils laying on the, underneath a cow and sucking their tit? I mean, that's just such a stupid sight. You know, there's a reason why our mother stops producing milk. That's for a reason. We're not supposed to keep drinking it. So, yes, mother's milk is relatively high in fat. Should we be eating a higher fat diet when we get older? Well, if you're a cash potato, you won't need as many carbohydrates. But a lot of people just don't understand how the carbohydrate thing works. I heard someone talking about this the other day on a video. I won't mention who they are. But it's clear they just don't understand the whole carbohydrate thing. Because it's how we're designed. And a lot of, this is the, the reason why the low Carb, the low-fat diet really wasn't successful because a lot of people just thought, well, if it's low-fat, I can eat as much as I want. So they only need 2,000 calories, they're eating 5,000 calories. Oh, it's all low-fat, so I'm not getting any fat. No, excess carbs go to fat. And of course, if we're an athlete, we'll have a bigger carbohydrate fill tank. But damn it all to hell, we're more active. We're supposed to eat more than you guys. We can handle the extra carbs. That's not an excuse, my friend, why it's not working for you. There's other reasons why we might be struggling with the sugars. We can always try adding some lettuce or celery in with our fruit to see if that might slow down the absorption of it. But many times it has to do with our adrenals. And when that happens, we have to do something specific for those organs. And I won't go into that now. The only part of this video I really wanted to, to point out is that, that we're not really designed to eat high fat diets, but there's a time and a place to do this. I've known several people who've done or used this approach and it's a temporary fix to deal with the body that's damaged. This is where the art of healing comes into play. The tricky part about the art of healing is how long do we go with this and when do we change and when is the body healthy? I guess we just kind of play it by ear and, and be flexible and, and be aware that what doesn't work now might work down the road and vice versa. So the best thing to do for most of us is not worry about the specific damage we have for right now. Let's just correct some big mistakes. That's where the first of my three-step process comes into play. Go down below and watch a seminar I gave. I, there's a link to the, my first step. Tells you how to take a solid food vacation. For most of us, that's all we need to do. That way we're going upstream, we're correcting five main mistakes, and at the same time, we also have to satisfy any additional temporary needs, and that's where the art comes into play. That's where we might not be able to do a juice fast. That might, that might be where we can't even handle fruit. We might have to go to a high-fat diet. We modify what we do but we have to obey one law, don't cook your darn food, my friends. That's the biggest mistake we're making. If we gotta go to high fat temporarily, fine, be a baby. <laughs> no, just teasing. Uh, be a baby or act like a baby or feed yourself like a baby, it can be done. But be aware you're not gonna be getting the carbs you need to have an active lifestyle unless you're getting extra protein. So that's not the way to go. The way to go is a solid food vacation. You go down below, watch my seminar. If you haven't heard Dr. Robin talk about this, you'll be real excited to hear what he has to say. Watch the Deborah Duncan Show, that too is exciting. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you like my content, subscribe to me. Whether or not you don't like anything else, come on, man, this is an important cause. It isn't about me. Don't, don't think, oh, I don't like it because he does that. Forget those things. We're talking about an important cause. Subscribe to me, not because of me, because of the message because it's to put an end to the need of suffering. Why? Because that way we can be in for a treat.